Good morning, friends. Just one more from here in this beautiful worship space that we have here at Christ Church. Today, Psalm 13, entitled by the translators at least, A Prayer for Deliverance. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have prevailed. And my foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. That last part of the psalm is, is, is a big jump from the first part. That's one of the themes of the psalms throughout is these statements, even in the lament, even in the God, where are you? The vast majority still end with this statement of trust. And sometimes it may feel just sort of like one of those moments where it's, I'm just going to keep saying it and keep saying it until it really happens or a feeling of like, I'm, that's going to be my mantra in the midst of this time. But I love those last words. And the poem for today is simply entitled Grief. And it has a similar feel to it, written by Julia Seymour. The cycles of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance are idols. They are mile markers on a highway I am not traveling. In my pain, I am not on a clearly marked trail, but I'm bushwhacking through brush. Crossing unknown rivers, backtracking and circling to see the same spaces again and again. These alleged compass points meant to show progress in my journey are only useful if they're printed on a handkerchief. And then I wipe my face with them and see more clearly. I call out and I can hear a chorus of false friends with easy platitudes, but they don't know this terrain. Only when I glimpse the shadows of fellow travelers on their own trails, when I hear the birds and watch squirrels jump, when the water is clean and clear and full of life, then I remember I am not alone. Everything is still hard, but I remember I am not alone. Miss Seymour's words speak very deeply to me right now. In a lot of ways, we are all in this. This is a weird experience in that we are all experiencing this thing together in different ways, yes, but what is happening right now is affecting all of us here, not just when we're watching this video, but literally everybody across this world are being affected by this experience. And so we are walking, we are traveling through brush that all of us are bushwhacking our way through. We are crossing unknown rivers. We are circling around again and again, and we are learning this as we go. I shared a message with some folks that it feels like right now we're trying to build the plane as we fly. But we are not alone. We do not travel this way alone. Yes, there are times we'll get those false platitudes, but we are not alone. And yes, it is still hard, but we remember we are not alone. That is God's truth for you, God's truth for me. That is God's promise for all of us. The God who is with us, the God who is for us. Grace and peace be with you today.